Welcome back. Protesters in North Carolina hitting the streets for the NAACP's Moral March this weekend, rallying against policies like the state's strict voter ID law, which a majority of the state actually supports. But take a look at this list of do's and don'ts for the marchers. This was a flyer that was handed out. The group tells participants, do bring photo identification, driver's licenses, passport or other valid photo ID with you and keep it on your person at all times. So if Americans need an ID to march, why shouldn't they need an ID to vote? Here to weigh in is Fox News contributor Denise Borelli. Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. <laughs> so your thoughts when you saw that flyer in the news as a result of the bring, bring your own ID to this march? Yeah, this is beyond hypocritical, but the NAACP has no credibility and, and really no shame uh, from the comments they made about uh, Senator Tim Scott to demanding folks to bring an ID when, in fact, they're against voter ID uh, for voting purposes. Yeah, this really exposes their liberal ideology. They, they support liberal policies and liberal politicians, not conservatives, especially not black conservatives. They don't support. You're referencing uh, Senator Tim Scott. There he is on our screen. And I want to give you, our viewers, a sense of what they said about him. This was uh, North Carolina NAACP Chief Reverend William Barber. He said this about him. A ventriloquist can always find a good dummy. The extreme right wing down here finds a black guy to be a senator and claims he's the first black senator since Reconstruction. And then he goes to Washington, D.C. and articulates the agenda of the Tea Party. This is politically driven, Clayton. Uh, when you think about it, what they're trying to do is whip up black voters to drive them to the midterm elections. This is happening in North Carolina. There's a key Senate race going on with Kay Hagan, and she supported Obama's failed policies in terms of Obamacare. So they're really trying to whip up uh, individuals to vote, whip up emotions. What they should be critical about are Obama's failed policies, his energy policy that's driving energy prices through the roof, high unemployment nationwide especially really bad in the black community, over 12 percent, over 40 percent among young blacks. That's what they should be critical of, but they're not. They're covering for him. They play the victim card. They play the race card. That's what the NAACP does. I mean, what does this say, though, about their protests, that they're concerned about security? They want you to say who you say you are because you're going to show them ID when you show up to the protest and be a part of it. And yet when you go to vote, isn't it also important to yeah. know who you are when you're actually registering a vote? Because they don't care. You would think they would want to uphold the integrity of our voting system, but instead they inject the race card to whip up emotion and try to get people on their side. This is their M.O. And it's not about uh, liberating black individuals and empowerment. They play the victim card, the race card. That's their, their bottom line. Why do you think that they don't support black conservatives? You, in fact, tried to go and have a booth set up at one of their conventions. What were you Told. They don't want to hear about our small government personal responsibility. Tim Scott is a perfect example of someone who overcame challenge, overcame his challenges. He's a senator. He's a small business owner. Uh, his success story blows away their myth that blacks need special treatment and are victims. Mm -hmm. Wonderful insight. Denise Borelli is a Fox News contributor. Always great to see you here. Thanks, uh, Fox and Friends. Thanks so much. Coming up next 